Hey guys, welcome back. Here we are, man. Week 81, Wednesday. Time for that midweek update, man. And this week has been going pretty well so far, I think. Though I've been doing things a little bit different this week. So, um, and doing a bunch of research, right? I, I do a lot of research into um, how to lose weight faster, healthier, uh, those types of things. And in doing a lot of research into my intermittent fasting, um, I read that it's a pretty good idea to do a 24 to 48 hour fast once a month, right? Um, so uh, last month I did one uh, because of the flu, right? You guys know about that one. Uh, but this month I needed to do one, man. And uh, I decided I would do a 45 hour fast, um, mostly because uh, I know when I get home from work, uh, after that 45 hours, I'm going to be pretty damn hungry, and I knew I wasn't going to last the full 48, right? So I did a 45-hour fast from Sunday at 8 o'clock p.m. when I stopped eating to Tuesday at 5 p.m., um, and it went really well, man. I was really happy with the fast and the way it went um, overall, uh, but one of the things I did do is I tried to... Um, uh, I tried like a little theory I have, right? So Sunday I did a cheat meal uh, and, and like pro partly in celebration of losing 180 pounds, uh, also to try and test out this theory I have, right? Now Sunday, what I did for dinner was I had a 10 inch vegetable pizza, right? And that's not really the cheat meal part of it, right? Because that fits into my calories just fine. The cheat meal part of it is the six Krispy Kreme donuts I had after that. I got a picture of it. Man, those damn things were absolutely delicious, man. I don't know how many calories that was, but suffice it to say, a lot, right? Anyway, uh, my idea was let's go ahead and do the cheat meal right before I jump into a 45-hour uh, fast, right? Because possibly the fast will help me um, you know, basically negate all the calories I'm taking in uh, from the donuts. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to see if that works, man. So I'm testing that theory, man. We're gonna find out. Uh, in any case, eh, you know, it's a good idea to do a fast like that every month or so. So I'm gonna do that probably from here on out, right? Again, um, it's not just sufficient anymore to, you know, just calorie count and create calorie deficits and, and things like that. At this point, um, you know, I'm trying to do anything I can, uh, you know, within reason, within healthy reason, uh, to try and stimulate fat loss, uh, as we move forward, man. Uh, anyway, uh, that was definitely a major change. Uh, what I'll say though, man, is, uh, I continued my workout routine through the 40 hour, 45 hour fast anyway, man. Um, so as you know, I mean, Monday was shoulders, uh, back and core, right? And Tuesday was uh, was leg day, and all that was done fasted during that 45 hour uh, uh, fast. And I thought I would see a degradation. I didn't, man. No hunger um, past the first day. The first day I got a little hungry at night. Um, past that though, no hunger, um, and you know, no real slowdown or weight uh, difference in the workouts, man. So overall, man, I feel pretty damn good, dude. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see what happens this week, dude. But overall, so far, pretty good. Week 81, pretty good, man. Anyway, guys, um, like and subscribe. Leave me some comments, man. Let me know what's going on with you guys. And as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on Saturday. Bye.